Okay, we live now. Uh, good afternoon, uh, YouTube family and friends, Appliance Bootcamp family and friends. This is Mike Sneed coming to you this afternoon. We're going to give YouTube a few minutes to go out and send out their notifications to let everybody know that uh, we're actually live. Uh, I want to thank everybody for tuning in to our Monday Motivation. Uh, this right here is going to be a good, uh, a good topic. Uh, we actually have a guest here. Uh, he hasn't attend, uh, attended Appliance Bootcamp, but just like you all, he watches the broadcast that comes out and watches the YouTube videos. And we just want to talk about just the power of YouTube, how um, him just looking at uh, what we had on YouTube, um, the information that we were putting out, and he took advantage of it and went out there and started uh, uh, implementing what we said. And from there, he started his own appliance repair business. So people who say uh, they can't come here for a weekend to actually learn how to uh, uh, start their own appliance repair business, or they say they can't do the online and come here for the weekend and start their own appliance repair business. This guy just looked at the YouTube videos, followed everything that we said done and started his own business. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and let the, uh, uh, the young man introduce himself. Uh, so go ahead, I'll let you introduce yourself. How y'all doing today? My name is Armin Sumra with First Class Services. We're located in Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, took advantage of uh, the SEO on the background. That's why I wanted to holler at JT because uh, he really helped out Sneed with this little, uh, with his YouTube page. You know, it's very effective. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've uh, been doing this little appliance thing a little bit after, you know, he started dropping his YouTube page. And uh, I tested it at first, you know, because you know, some people be fly by night, but Sneed was more so um, consistent in his information. In the process of him being consistent in information um, in this technical field, I was able to understand, you know, where he was coming from. I got a background in biomedical electronics, right? So when you're looking at the information that he's given to you, uh, it's very effective. You know, it's, it's not nothing that he's not telling you is not you know on point everything that he's given to you is from a technical background a technical aspect if i say it like if i could say it like that um if you're familiar with that type of background he's talking to you in technical language he's talking to you directly in technical language and he's basically leaving you you know the breadcrumbs to be able to be a successful entrepreneur now that's key because he's saying a successful entrepreneur he's not talking about being an employee no more that's, that's the key part. <laughs> See, that's the part where a lot of people, you know, get it mixed up. So by me watching the YouTube videos, I'm already an entrepreneur and he left you breadcrumbs to where the other pot of gold was at. Um, I just followed it for like a couple, like about two or three months, you know, to see if everything lined up, the numbers and all his numbers lined up. You know, that's, that's how basically how I got started and been floating ever since. Okay, so prior to uh, seeing me on YouTube and, and, and listening to JT Hustle, uh, you had never done any appliance repair or anything dealing with appliance repair. I know you was you technical, you, uh, you fixed uh, biomedical equipment, so you had the technical knowledge, and you also, um, you are an entrepreneur, so you're like a serial entrepreneur, but prior to that, you had never had no uh, experience repairing appliances. Right, I never uh, looked at the aspect of an appliance, just just my ignorance. You know, we all ignorant to some degree in certain levels, you know, um, on many different levels. But um, <laughs> i just be honest, you know, it's money in the bottom head. It's, it's money in the bottom head. But you know, that's, 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 that's one lane, right? Mm -hmm. But then, uh, cause it's crazy. Cause the part is that I needed a cert to be able to do something else that I want to do in biomed because it's like, you know, more money. But then I looked at your field. So, well, let me let me ask you that. You say you need a, a cert. What, what can, for those that don't know the technical thing, what, what is the okay. cert? That you need? Cert is a certification with Mike Sneed been telling y'all for like the last <laughs> eight months, you better come on through because they gonna change it. And that cert, the certs is what, the cert is the division between who could get in and who ain't gonna get in? You know, once they pass that cert, boom, you locked out. So he been giving it to you like for the last 
year or whatever plus, but I needed the cert to be able to finish, you know, what I was going to do in the biomed. Prior to that, me not mess with appliances, it just, you know, that big light bulb, you know, like the light bulb over the appliance book club. I look at that as like the light bulb, you know, in the background, <laughs> right? Uh -huh. It was like, uh, hey, man, look at all these appliances around my crib. Look at all these appliances, you know, down the street. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Light bulb went off and then I just started just, just tinkering, you know what I'm saying? And everything was right there. Everything, you know, everything was right there. So no, I never touched anything as far as appliance to ask you a question, but mm -hmm. I don't know what I was thinking because it was more appliances than it was medical equipment around me. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Yes, yes. Yeah, so the medical, the medical field, they, 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 they lock that, they lock people out of that now. Yeah, I mean, that's real talk. I mean, I'm, um, I'm, dip, I'm, I'm, I mean, you, you have to follow the ordinance. He gave you, Sneed gave, gave, giving y'all everything, basically, right? When he tell you go to those, you know, those organizations, you have to do that. You have to do that to keep a pulse on your industry. That's the same thing I did in my industry. In my industry, yeah, they, they shutting it down. You know, they, they, they about to change up an ISO. That's, that's what it would be compared to, you know, with this. You would compare, you would, you would call an independent service organization, your ISO. That's what it's called okay. in Biomed. It's the same thing, but it's just different language, but it's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay, and that's actually where I met you at, uh, at the Asties. Uh, I was surprised, uh, I was at the Asties and we talked and for uh, you told me that you had got into it because of uh, looking at the YouTube video and then to hear the success that you had and you had never taken any type of training program. You uh, you just followed the instructions that I had been saying. That really, really surprised me and um, really made me then see the actual, um, like you say, the power of YouTube that uh, it had where just somebody looking at the videos and I'm, I'm, I'm starting to wonder now how many people organically has actually started their business just from looking at, at, the, uh, looking at the YouTube videos. Right, and that's why when I approached you, I told you, um, when I approached you, I explained to you, I said, I'm speaking for everybody that didn't come talk to you about, because I know more than just me, you know, with the power of this, you know, this medium touch, you know, from A to Z, 24 seven, just keep it like simple on a microcosm. Mm -hmm. um, I, that's why I introduced myself to you, told you, you know, everything that I told you, but at the same time, it's like, you know, it is out there, everything that you've given your audience, and even, you know, the, your alumni, if they took it, if they didn't take it, mm -hmm. it's um, the people that probably like doubted the whole process. And I even got the chance to go back and look at the videos in the beginning part when you was trying to basically be coerced them, you know, yeah. like, hey man, the money over here, the money over here. You, you know, <laughs> because, you know, this, this is what really is going on. This, I mean, people don't share that information. You know, and, and I salute you, and I, and I told you that, you know, on and off camera, you know, you know how we'll take care of that. But it's like, you know, um, the, this YouTube and the medium that he used to be able to communicate with you is really, you even got a fail safe switch dealing with Mike Sneed. That's what I like to call it, because it's not really a way that you could really mess it up. You know, if you just go back and follow all the videos, I'm not a proponent as far as like jumping out there and doing you know, the COD calls, you know, versus like learning the different industries, you know, within this industry, because I don't want to be out there like that. Because once you put yourself out there and look kind of like, you know, um, <clears throat> a novice, mm -hmm. you know, dealing with, you know, CODs, mm -hmm. that's going to that's impact your reputation for, you know, any people that's going to deal with you, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'd rather be seasoned, you know, like each, 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 each curriculum, what else is microwave, dishwasher, you know, washing machine, just give it a month on each one or until I get better at it, mm -hmm. just take it off from there. I wouldn't, I mean, that's just me personally speaking. I'm not in a rush, you know, like I said, I already got something in the background running, but this running just as well, you know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this, you don't understand me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so how long, how long did you start doing appliance calls? Uh, are you currently doing appliance repair calls now? Man, I can't keep up, bro. <laughs> I, I, mean, I, I mean, I'm not saying it like that. And like I said, I, I'm, I'm still building because the, the uh -huh. part about a business is that you want to you want to get all the loose ends out the way. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want to really 
overextend yourself because like I said, if you overextend yourself, that's going to impact you in the long run. Mm -hmm. So you might as well go on and just like do, you know, what you can and build upon those building blocks as you go about. But yeah, I'm already at that mark that you already gave on that one video about that in one day, you know, you could do that in just one day, you know, take six calls, mm -hmm. seven, eight calls, you know, I got that now. You know oh, saying? wow. You, you running six, seven, eight calls a day now? I mean, I just, I just structure it like that. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I structure it. I, I literally, I literally follow everything you said, do, mm -hmm. and um, I compressed it. So mm -hmm. I'm literally like, probably like a month out to have that Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And like I told you on my Mondays, this is all I do. Mm -hmm. And then on Friday, Saturday, if I choose to, I could be on the plane somewhere. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> oh wow, you <laughs> you you, uh, you talking my language? That's uh that's that's the way I constructed my life. That's the way my life is right now. Yeah, because you got more control. You know, you and I and I understand it. You know, I understand it. You know, the um, I understand everybody's frustration. First of mm -hmm. all, I understand because I watched you for like about at least four or five months <laughs> to try to explain the guys, mm -hmm. get the confidence up. Okay, let's go back. I already had the confidence because I was in the, already in the field. Mm -hmm. But when you dealing with somebody that's literally in, in, you know, you watch all them other different videos, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. This video is literally telling you like, if you just follow this step, you know what I'm saying? You could be able to get it. And yeah, and, and I can understand that somebody probably apprehensive about that, you know, to say that, man, no way in the world I can make $100,000 a year. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. well, I'm already past that. I ain't even started. You know what I'm wow. saying? I haven't even tried to, like, you know, push it like like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because, like I said, you know, you don't want to overextend yourself. Mm -hmm. So by you not overextending yourself and learning, you know, like I said, like the process, which you said, and Believe me, trust me, brother. You know what I'm saying? The confidence is in you because that's the reason why you're in this circle right now. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Everyone in this circle got the confidence. So just look at everybody else that's telling you, okay, you could do it and just say you could do it also. That's that's the way I look at it. Yeah. Uh, uh, one, of, one of the people I like to quote a lot, Marcus Garvey, that's, that's what he said. He said, without confidence, you already lost. He said, but uh, you say, matter of fact, you say then lost uh, twice. <laughs> you don't have any confidence. But with confidence, he said you won before you uh, you even start. And mm -hmm. uh, I honestly believe that. Uh, if you got the confidence um, when you setting out to do something, you you already you already won because you're gonna you're gonna complete that task. Right. Uh, and I think won. that's probably another thing. Not to cut you off. Everybody ain't got the blue and white book. Everybody ain't got it. <laughs> there you go. Yep. <laughs> yep. If they get that book and read it, it, it gives you a whole lot. To do do with your life, yeah. the whole all aspects of your life. Yeah, I believe in scholarship. Mm -hmm. You know, I believe in scholarship. Mm -hmm. I believe in scholarship. I believe in you know um, all the teachers that came before us, the master mm -hmm. teachers. Mm -hmm. uh, I subscribe to a lot of different. Um, I just, I just subscribe to a lot of different things. You know, mm -hmm. different sciences. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, the thing is, like when somebody come and like literally telling you. It ain't nobody on YouTube doing what you're doing. Okay, they telling you the other part, you know, because that's why I say give props to JT, because even JT came in like, yo, you know, how this how you get it, you know. But when you go and look at the, the factual, something that you could go and touch physical, tangible, you know, within mm -hmm. yourself, go show me somebody else that's up on YouTube that's doing it like that. It ain't, it's not, no, you ain't got to worry about doing it, but it's, it's, it's not nobody else doing it like that. And if you got that background, or even if you didn't have that background, you could be able to go, you know, inject yourself into that into that situation, and it's gonna come easy. Basically, man, it's two thousand dollars a week times fifty two. Mm -hmm. Two times fifty two is one hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, bro, you could get it. It's, it's out there. Trust me. It's 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 more than that out there. He gave yep. you. He gave you. Basically, it's like the, I say it for you. Go ahead. He basically giving you the key and the answer to everything that you need, but he can't just put it out there for you because he wants you to build yourself up because you go run into some calls that you go not go be able to finish or probably not go be able to like, your expertise wasn't there. He wants you to learn all that yourself. I go through that too in my field. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you're getting a learning experience. This is better than an apprenticeship. 
Yeah, it, uh, I, 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 I have to totally agree with you. It's uh, totally better than an apprenticeship. And, um, and and like I say, the information that I'm giving you, uh, I've, I've, he, he's a prime example uh, of what I've given out there is enough for you to, to do it without me. Um, but uh, unfortunately, uh, I have to charge people because uh, I found out when I was giving it for free and even when I was paying people, uh, people didn't take it. But now that uh, we charge people for it, they now actually, uh, they're actually taking it and running with it. And I think that goes back where they say, there's no struggle, uh, there's no progress without struggle. And right. I think that comes even when you get knowledge. If I'm giving you knowledge, you're free flowing and just giving it to you, you don't, you don't, you don't appreciate it. Right. Um, but if, uh, if I make it so that you have to make an investment and you have to come out here and you have to pay your money, now you 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 put some scroll behind it. Now you actually now you have uh you, you actually now uh take that knowledge and you actually go out and apply it because now you have put some some effort behind it. Now yeah. I'll be honest with you. Uh, we lowered the prices down to uh to two ninety five to get people so everybody could get in. Because I say okay, I want to I want to help everybody get in. But guess where I get all the problems at? <laughs> all the problems come at that two ninety five. That's the ones where you get. Where people go, um, I, I had an email going back to a guy earlier today. Um, I, I won't call his name, but I just told him, I said, you make it harder for other people who actually need the help, for um, them not to get the help. Because what happened on that 295, what those people do, they go there, they'll take the course, they'll do the online course, and then they'll call and say, hey, somebody stole my credit card and made a charge. <laughs> I, I said, Why you, man, for 295, <laughs> Why, why do that? <laughs> just, 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 and I know it's you because uh, you watch my call. Uh, it's going straight to your email and you answering me on the email. Uh, right. so, uh, eventually, if they keep doing it up, I might have to have it where they have to take a picture before they can log in. Just because just the people and the knowledge is free. You got enough knowledge. And also, I had a guy signed in, done everything. Uh, he, he, he signed in, um, had the course for a month. And he didn't look at the course and, <laughs> and he done the two, he done the payment and then his payment got locked out. And, and he called me and said that uh, he was mad because he got locked out and couldn't get back in. Well, I said, you didn't make your payment. Yeah, I know I didn't make my payment. Uh, I shouldn't be able to come to the live event, but you should at least let, let me keep looking at the videos. <laughs> I said, it don't work like that, man. I said, you, I said, you have to, uh, in order for me to keep this thing moving, in order for uh, the people, you, I said, you paying the price, you paying to get into this, uh, get into the appliance boot camp. It's not to give me money. You actually paying forward for the people who's coming behind you. You making sure that they have a good place they can come, a good training facility. You making sure that uh, we're actually increasing this and we can have a bigger impact of what we're doing. So you actually helping the people behind you. So when you do that and you cheating people, you're not cheating me. <laughs> You cheating, you cheating your grandkids. You cheating uh, other people's grandkids that's coming behind you. That you're supposed to be building something for. You're supposed to be building a bridge for them to get across here. But right. you don't want to build a bridge for. You don't want to help yourself get across, and then right. you want to kick the bridge down behind you. Right. That's that's crazy because that's that's the part of what I said earlier. Mm -hmm. You know that they the some people they they so skeptical they don't understand the capacity and the bandwidth that you're dealing with them. Right. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, Let's just go back just one quick second. Go ahead. I told, I'm gonna just tell everybody straight up. Mm -hmm. I told Mike straight up, he should be knocking y'all upside your head for about 50 G's. You know, <laughs> yeah, he, he has told me that. <laughs> I told him that off top. I said mm -hmm. he could be, you could knock him for 50 G's, you know, mm -hmm. and and he looking out for y'all, being honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I didn't pay 60 for my college degree. So <laughs> why don't you pay 50 for that? And I know that you could get that back in the year. Um, the other part about that going forward is that, look, man, to y'all that's not understanding, like I said, the capacity, when you do this business, you automatically is setting your family up for, you know, something that's going to be able to be passed down. Now, if you ain't figured that part out, you know, because when you're in this industry, like I said, when you go to all the different functions, I do, I go to every convention, wherever it is, you know, whatever I want to get off into, but that's an automatic goal. That's what you're doing. You're investing that little bit of money to grab your niece, nephew, son, daughter, whatever. Hey, come learn how to, you know, um, come turn, come turn, just come change, change the light bulb in this microwave. Come, come do this real quick. That's a quick, 
135 right there. 135 just to come do that, you know? And that's the skill set that you can pass down for future generations. And, and if they get it, they get it. If they don't, they don't. But if they get through like standing up, making hamburgers and stuff, and no disrespect to <laughs> nobody, what they do, I'm not saying that because I did it all. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? I even shoveled, you know, that that other stuff, you know what I'm saying, uh -huh. for a living, you know what I'm saying? Had to get diapers, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, because I got a lot of humility, you know, that's another part of it. You got to go through a lot of humility to understand that, but that's what you paying that little two or three hundred dollars, man. You getting it back, man. Mm -hmm. You getting it back in about a week. You know, I gave it less than a week. You know, some yeah, of these people paying, they, they paying so quick now with you know because there's so much work out here. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm seeing the companies like changing up how they paying because they know that these other companies, you know, the, the home warranty companies, mm -hmm. they paying out quicker because they see their competition is paying out quicker. Mm -hmm. so you go go where the money is at. You understand? What right. I'm saying? Yeah. And you got the leverage to tell this company because you you your own business. It's called B2B, business to business. Mm -hmm. You could tell them, hey, you could write up your own contract. Hey, this is what it is. If you don't want to, I'm over here with them. I mean, it's just simple. You get the money back, man. Let's go on there and come on, man. Yeah, come on now. Stop playing, man. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, uh, uh, are you currently now making uh, uh, 500 or to $1,000 a week doing this appliance repair? Who, me? Yes, sir. Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm be honest with you, man. I, I said I followed your thing to the T. That little uh, one you dropped like about two or three weeks ago. Uh huh. Said, uh, and it's crazy because, like I said, you know, you was like, you could do this in a day. You know, so I'm gone. Uh huh. And I said I did it to the T. Mm -hmm. And like I said, when I com I'm compressing it, mm -hmm. um, yeah, <laughs> I could do fit. I just did fifteen hundred in one day. And there you go. <laughs> you know, I ain't bragging or nothing like that. That's right. Saying, you know, I'm not I'm not saying it because I ain't that type of person. Uh -huh. you know, but if you know, if I gotta be, if I gotta be the win and you know what I'm saying, you be the sale to make people jump on this boat, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? So we can get off this this mental conundrum that we go through when mm -hmm. somebody be like, hey man, you guys do that other thing you doing. Y'all know what I'm talking about. There you go. You ain't, you ain't gotta go do that no more. Cause mm -hmm. we right here, we, we showing you where it's at. You know, you just gotta sit down, you know, if you don't have the skill set, you know, because like I, I got a, I got a background in, in computer engineering technology. That's my degree with a focus in biomedical, right? Mm -hmm. But I had to sit down myself and crack those books open. And I had to crack those books open a lot of nights just mm -hmm. to stay within my competition, mm -hmm. right? But I never knew it would turn around to me. Like I said, it's all in my house. You understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And somebody need that done. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, you know, um, you ain't got to worry about three hots in the cot. You know, you ain't got to, you ain't got to go that route. You ain't got to, um, worry about bail, you ain't got to worry about <laughs> um, not seeing your kids. Uh -huh. you know, for people that, you know, I, and, I, I, and I'm really look, look, looking out to the youth. You know, if you under like 30, I'm like, yo, you need to jump on this. But, you know, if you're in your 40s and tripping about $300, man, come on, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna get that back, you know what I mean? Yeah, but no, I ain't saying it like that. Yeah, that's that's easy. I said I followed you to the T. You, you showed everybody how to do it, but if they ain't did it like that, and another thing, just like I could add on to that, you got to put that little 30, put that little extra 30, 40 minutes on, on that on that windshield mm -hmm. and just put it on the back end when you get through charging somebody. That's what mm -hmm. I do on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. And that's all it is. I mean, I, I mean, I don't want to give them all the jewels because you gave people enough, you know what I'm <laughs> but I'm just translating what you're telling them. Uh -huh. You know, ain't no excuse for that. Uh, ain't no work around me. I, I ain't hearing that one. <laughs> nah, nah. I, I had to go. Uh, I had to go uh, do continuing education for my electrical class. Um, I, I wanted to take a picture. And I used to go to, to do my continuing ad for my electrical. It'd be uh, I would be the only African American in there, mm -hmm. and um, I'd be the youngest person in there. Everybody be old, and be, it wouldn't be no more than about ten to fifteen people in there. Mm -hmm. um, this time, this last week when I went, um, it was three African-American guys, uh, myself and, 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 and two other guys, but they had, they had every bit 40 or 50 people in there. And there were uh, every, every race, 
in the women and everything in their early 20s. And what's happened, they know that uh, the skilled trades uh, right now are, consist of baby boomers. You, you saw when we went to the uh, Ashley's, you saw the older people there. Right. And we were talking about it. We said, they only got 15 years <laughs> and, and all of them are gone. And this, then, then, uh, then who's going to fill in the void? And right. that's the same thing across all the skilled trades. They know now that, hey, we, 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 we messed up by pushing everybody towards university and got rid of the skilled trades. Mm-hmm. Now the, uh, the average worker there is 55, 60 years old. And they only got maybe 15, 20 years. And it's really, really going to be uh, wide open for, uh, for us making money and stuff. Right. And, um, and uh, so, yeah. So, yeah, it is, it's, it's just so much money out here to be made that it's, it's just ridiculous. Uh, you don't even have to even, you don't even have to, that's the other thing too. You don't even have to go ahead and advertise for this. People come, they get mad because they, you won't, you ain't got enough time to schedule to come do their service calls. Right. And the best part to piggyback on what you were saying when I was showing you this, mm-hmm. when there's this, this tech nation and it says shrinking pool, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And with this, they telling you that in this field, in the biomed field, mm-hmm. they don't have enough people. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, now this is what I'm saying. Remember what I told you. I was like, hey, yo, this dude talking about this over here. Let me see what he's talking about. Right. Mm-hmm. Dig this. With my business, I got to do all my marketing. I got to do all my promotion. Mm-hmm. I got to get all my contacts, <laughs> yada, 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 yada. Uh-huh. When I figured it out, mm-hmm. I said, over oh, here's already done. Yeah. <laughs> That's the biggest part of that. What you uh-huh. said about the field, mm-hmm. I don't care what city you in. Mm-hmm. Just use a capacity like 100,000, you know, mm-hmm. just 80,000. Mm-hmm. 30% of the service, you know, calls that's coming through there, you mm-hmm. might as well go on and be the part of that because thirty percent of them is leaving. Because a lot of the older guys, they they kids didn't want to do it. Mm-hmm. So you might as well go on and jump on in for this little three hundred. I'm not promoting it, but I'm just I did it for free. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But for that little you know bit of you know knowledge that you know he could impart on you, I say just go on and just get it over with. You know, just go on and get it over with. Yep. There you go. All right. Uh, we're going to go now and take a, 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 a look in the chat and see what we got, answer some questions. Uh, like I said, this this weekend coming up is going to be our first um, uh, Plies Boot Camp in the new training center. Uh, so um, I was, we're still doing some spot painting, just talent, uh, cleaning stuff up and, and dusting stuff off, trying to make it very presentable for the people who's coming. Um, uh, also, uh, you join in Thursday night at eight o'clock. That's when we're going to have a virtual tour. I'm going to actually uh, give you all a tour of the actual new facility, let y'all see everything that we've done here, everything that we got going on. Uh, so tune in to that for next uh, for this Thursday night at eight o'clock. We're going to do the virtual tour. So uh, right now we're going to actually go through the chat. And uh, like I say, I'm getting ready for this week. So uh, they, everybody uh, emailed me and texted me earlier this weekend, told me to get some rest. So I'm going to get out here uh, early and get some rest to get, so I'll be prepared for this weekend. Okay, we got the Untamed Kango. Say he was waiting patiently. Thanks. Appreciate it, man. Space Age 3000. Hey, how you doing? Shaman 05 Line. Uh, hey, how you doing? Lemon 77 um, Able. I was wondering what's good. Hey, how you doing? Newborn Live. He said he in here. Uh, there you go. All right. Uh, hey, how you doing? Tax Elite. Aloha from Hawaii. Uh, CCH 1978 from Mississippi. Hey, how you doing? All right. Uh, we got we got uh, Mr. Slick in. Uh, A1 uh, credit. Hey, Mike, patiently waiting for this weekend. God will. Okay, all right. I hope to see you this weekend. Hey, how you doing, Patrick Young? All right. Got DCNF. All right. Uh, Mr. O, hey, how you doing? 90s babies. Uh, ABC fan, what's good? Hey, how you doing? Uh, Douglas Martin. I uh, want to know how we doing, APC fam. Uh, we doing good. Uh, DCNF appliance repair. Yes, this is the uh, this is the brother that we met over in the Asties. Uh, so DCNF was one of the brothers that you uh, we met over in the Asties. Uh, so yeah, this this is him. Uh, hey, how you doing, BK Rockies? And thanks, man. I saw you purchase the uh, the course, man. I appreciate that, BK. Uh, Quentin Hodge is saying, hey, how you doing? Uh, A plus appliance repair LLC. Hey, how you doing? Aloha. Okay. Uh, okay, YouTube is better than the public schools, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I will admit, I think, uh, uh, like I said, I, I'm, I'm doing a new business next door, and uh, all my research and stuff, I've done it on YouTube. 
uh, I, I mean, it's, it's amazing uh, how, how much information is out here on YouTube. It's just amazing. Now, have you ever you ever done another business or just from listening to YouTube or anything? Other than just uh, dealing with this, I mean, because it's right there and in the bottom head, but mm -hmm. um, actually, I got a partner and we got some stuff. So, you know, like I said, we ain't into like just running down and grabbing one. It's like building in the background, you know, just grab everybody like how you did. Mm -hmm. um, and actually on the flip side of that, uh, what people don't know, a lot of these institutions, you know, these universities you go to, they telling you to go to YouTube. <laughs> When you finishing, you know, you about to go do that test or that exam, they don't even like, they don't even do it in, you know, in a university setting. They, the instructors literally telling you, you know, hey man, ask is on, online on YouTube. All you gotta do is go find it. As far as chemistry, you know, if you're off into that, physics, you know, um, you know, calculus, you know, the, uh, the stuff that you need, um, you know, it's already on YouTube. So, basically you you at the beginning of it you know in the next five mm -hmm. ten years mike will be talking a whole nother language to you guys yeah yeah it's, uh it's uh it's, it's it's changed the world uh like i said this little small town we have here in uh selma north carolina uh we've had people from all across the world come here just to learn how to repair appliances uh to the uh to the to the point now uh where i i've done the little thing for uh about me doing the uh, appliance, doing the ice cream parlor, right uh, right across the uh, uh, right next door, where uh, the town mayor actually came here and and the and, and uh, the planning uh, director and stuff. They want to know, uh, hey, I heard people been calling, want to know about Selma. No, <laughs> is there any real estate available? I was like, God knows, I, I can't believe just mentioning that. Where they actually people are calling them now and asking if it's um, about what's going on down here in Selma, um, and people actually are following it. Uh, I was surprised that the uh, uh, when I, I went in today to actually uh, to let the town um, let the planning director know, and he already knew. Yeah, I hear you doing the ice cream thing. Oh man, how you know that? Well, people have told me. I was like, God knows, man. Uh, people are actually watching us on this thing, and actually following us, and uh, it, it just it still surprises me that people actually are paying attention like that. It's still a surprise. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, uh, we got Patrick Young said, uh, uh, did you want to show your picture, man? Oh, it's your all good. I didn't even, I wasn't even up on it. I thought uh -huh. I was doing the whole time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I didn't know if you want to show it or not, but there, there you go. Uh, 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 here we go. Uh, Patrick Young said he got his LLC, his domain name, uh, logo. He just got his insurance quote. Um, for seventy one dollars a month, hey, that's good. Uh, now he's on his way. Appliance co uh, correctors. Oh, that's a nice name. LLC is on the way. Okay. All right. Untamed Cone Go. They doing some networking there. Hey, how you doing, Kevin Roberts? All right. Uh, Fabulous uh, Life Fifty. Hey, how you doing? Glad you you tuning in. Okay. All right. Uh, T Fitness Boss Man. Okay. Here we go. Uh, Anita Phillips, hello, uh, and congratulations, Mike, on the new uh, ABC storefront. Thanks, thanks. Uh, like I say, uh, tune in Thursday. I'm going to do a virtual tour, give you all a virtual tour. <laughs> uh, okay, DCNF Appliance Repair. The knowledge you have bestowed upon us is priceless, Mike. Salute. Hey, man, thank you, man. You all, uh, I'll be honest, you all, the, the feedback that I've gotten from you all and to see you all actually starting you y'all business and stuff and actually having somebody having people i can actually talk business to uh that's that's the that's the uh that's the best thing in the world because for a long time um i had nobody i can actually talk business with and you all now that you have a network y'all not alone um because uh it's, it's funny uh I, I i called one of my boys and uh and i was telling them i said man i need to talk to somebody because what happened, not, not decide to do my next business, it's funny. I actually get a vision. I get a vision. I can see it. I can see exactly where I need to go. I can see exactly what the uh, what the building looked like. I can see the customers. I, I can see everything. I say, hey, man, I got my vision. I know where I need to go. And uh, there's only certain people. Only, I, I can only talk to entrepreneurs like that. If I go talk to somebody who's not an entrepreneur and say, I got a business. I got a vision. I see it. This is where I'm going to go. This side, this is gonna look. They think I was crazy, but because I can talk to another entrepreneur, he's like, "Yeah, man, that, uh, that's the lick." And I, I ran the numbers bomb. I, I, I ran. Um, I went out and um, I actually, I actually paid for a boot camp. 
not only you know y'all paying for my boot camp, but I pay for a, a ice cream boot camp. So I, I've, I've done that, and I, I, I tell them, say, hey, man, I researched a couple of different businesses. This is the one that I'm going to go with. Um, I wanted to do it live on uh, on YouTube, but still, uh, I'm still kind of hesitant because I've been gun shy and got kind of kicked around in my early days of entrepreneurship. And I don't want, uh, I didn't want people to think I was crazy by showing you my process. So I, I, I am going to uh, show you how I actually came through with it, but uh, I, 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 it's not going to be actual live like I wanted to do at first because uh, I didn't want nobody to think I was crazy talking about I got a vision and all that stuff. But you do, you actually, uh, when I'm putting my businesses together, it's almost like I kind of go into the, go into the future get the plans and come back and put it together. Um, if, if that sounds crazy, I'm sorry, but that's the best way I can explain it. So. Nah, brother, you ain't talking crazy. It's just that they about to clone you. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, you, you, you're a serial entrepreneur yourself. Now, have, have, do, you, do you have that when you're doing your businesses? Do you actually can see it and, and, and picture it and, and before you actually get it in going? Yeah, I go into the astral plane, literally. <laughs> seriously, you, people seriously, might think you crazy, seriously. but honest seriously. to God. Seriously, that's that's what I was saying. That's I go on and you know I just go on and share it with you. You know, uh -huh. this, this this is like, I mean, as simple as like you know for somebody to understand it. Like right mm -hmm. on this level, you know what I'm saying. You deal like with a lot of numbers, right? Mm -hmm. But you got to be able to see it, you know, mentally. You know mm -hmm. what I mean. If you can't see it mentally. You know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure you do your prayer and every whatever you do, you know uh, what I'm saying? Everybody uh, do what they do. Uh -huh. But then when you bring it back, you know what I'm saying, you gotta make sure that it that it could be able to survive right home the third dimension, right? Uh -huh. So when you're looking at it and everybody ain't seeing it, you know what I'm saying? There's only a few people that can see it, you know, them the builders. But then you got the workers coming behind it, right? Mm -hmm. And the people that's come behind it, you like, yo, it's over here, it's over here, it's over here. You know, like the water and all that, you know, cracking mm -hmm. the water and busting. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Right, right. But it's right. like, you know what I'm saying? Um, I saw it from what you were saying as far as your numbers. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to keep it 1,000 with you. This is what I did. <clears throat> I looked at your city, right? Mm -hmm. And then I did the demographic, you know, you drove like 200 square miles, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then after I did that 200, I was like, oh, let me see 300. Mm -hmm. I was like, dang, he right here. He right here. He right here. I was like, mm -hmm. he killing it. <laughs> <laughs> and he up and gave him the game, right? Yeah. I was like, he gave him the game. So, you know, because I'm already in that compared we're the same vein, you know, uh -huh. like, like that. Mm -hmm. So then when I went and tried it and I looked at it, I was like, I got to pull back. Because it's a lot of people won't give you like information on YouTube. Like mm -hmm. you don't want to get too big too fast. You know what I'm saying? And I saw myself getting big too fast. You know, with oh yeah, it, this, this it, it'll happen. It, yeah. it will happen. And people don't believe you. That's why I be looking at people like, yeah. and I be seeing the comments. You know, and I be like, this time I be doing my books. Uh -huh. I be looking at how you still trying to like get them. You know, you know, push them, and that's good because mm -hmm. you're a coach, you're a team, you're a leader. Uh -huh. You know, you float the boat, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how you do it. You got to bring it back. You have to look at it, the numbers. And yeah, I say anybody within the city, you know, and then the, the, the worst part about what they're not understanding what you're telling them is that that 30% is falling off like real quick. So people mm -hmm. are leaving. Mm -hmm. They don't understand like you about to be super busy. Yeah. You know, and basically you just like, y'all come over here. I'm going to get y'all alone and I'm going to push you on, you know, just come <laughs> through this door. Uh -huh. and go ahead and go get on and that's that's what it is you know it was all love it's all love mike you know it's all yeah love. yeah um and what you, what they're gonna do they're gonna do like they done with the electrical um the electrical they relaxed it because they gotta get people in but once they get the numbers in hey they closing that door i um, did that too i was an electrician too i forgot to give you that point. oh okay i didn't know that wow okay <laughs> i did electrician too i went okay. to that apprenticeship too okay there you go but yeah the same thing all you gotta do is fill out an application come on just come pull this wild, yeah. you know. Uh -huh. We give you this twenty dollars, you know. You thinking that's you know mm -hmm. twenty five or whatever, uh -huh. without and you know I'm not saying that against nobody, you know. But uh -huh. you need to, you gotta start somewhere, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. So it's the same thing like that here, though. It's the same thing. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, once they get the once they get the numbers in and uh, and uh, the industry start to fill the numbers. Say it's getting too high, and 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 you you should get to a point. Right now, the warranty companies are are actually fighting for work. 
uh, get get us in, but it get to a point where the the, uh, the scales start to tip, where we fighting each other for the warranty company. Then the industry say, "Hey, man, cut this out, man. We ain't gonna we ain't gonna cut each other to death. Let's balance this thing off. Close the door. Don't let nobody else come in." Right. Uh, that, right. That's that's the way. That's what everybody do to keep the prices up. They do that with with any commodity, uh, with milk, <laughs> with, with uh, tobacco, anything. Well, if you start producing too much, you're gonna hurt everybody. So, so that nobody get hurt, we say, hey, we're gonna we're gonna regulate how much we produce, and right mm-hmm. now we got enough. We ain't gonna, we don't need nobody else. Mm-hmm. And then what make me mad? That's when we come and we get mad. Say, hey, man, you uh, you you you're discriminating against us. You're not letting us in. But I'm saying, hey, right now the gate is wide open. Anybody can walk in, and and, and the stores, the people who own the store, just left the store for us to go there and and take whatever we want. Now's the time you can go in and you can actually change not only your life, you change the, the, the people behind you life. Y'all see me um, doing this stuff with the real estate and all that. The only way I'm able to do that is through appliance repair. Appliance repair kicks off enough cash that I can go pay cash for a building, pay cash to renovate it, pay, pay, pay these young guys to actually learn how to mess my building up. <laughs> I got to pay them to mess it up, to, to, to show them how to fix it so we can learn together. And actually build the community. Uh, uh, appliance repair does all of that for me. And for uh, uh, and for us to have to keep begging people, come on, come on, come on. I don't know what else we can do. And especially bringing uh, bringing y'all on, letting them see you all. And uh, I don't know what else we can do to get people to say, "Hey, this right here is a, a lifestyle. Is is a business <clears throat> that, that that change generations, not just your life, but generations. You can't, you can't, you you you." You you were really it, it's really hard for you to uh, the money that appliance repair kicks off. You have to work really hard to blow all of it and be broke. <laughs> I, I, I've I've done crazy stuff in my earlier years and when I first got started in appliance repair, but I won't broke. I, I blew my money, but I, I was never broke. I just I was just blowing my money. Mm-hmm. So, and that's true because like what you said is like if you did it. I mean, if if a person followed what you told them, like off top, right? And if they gave it to him, like, I mean, I mean, it ain't, it's, it's practically almost like almost near un- impossible. The only way that you could really like mess it up is like through like a bad divorce or <laughs> your kids, you know what I'm saying? Like, get you dad, you know, <laughs> whoop de woo, you know, all that. But if you did this, because we saw at Ashley, like two or three, every family, most of the guys I ran into, them cats that gave it to their grandkids. Yep, yep. You know, their grandkids don't know what nothing about, you know, their stomach hitting the, 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 the back of their back, you know, uh, eating cheese, you know, uh, what I'm sandwiches and stuff. They don't even know what you're talking about, you know, grits not and a, rice. Not, a, not, <laughs> not even a clue. They don't understand that because, you know, their grandparents had already passed it down to them. So mm-hmm. that little $300 that somebody tripping on, I'd be like, man. You be at the strip club with that, bro. you know what I'm saying? I mean, uh, you know, uh-huh. the extra bottles or whatever. Uh-huh. I ain't gonna go into you know that forty thousand. No, I'm <laughs> get out of here, bro. Yeah. You need to be putting that over here and just re- and just keep rebuilding it. You know what uh-huh. I'm saying? Because you could like you know it's we all about exponential. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? We all about exponential. If exponential was for the people to understand, exponential is a hyphen is you. <laughs> and you got this hyphen uh-huh. above you on your uh-huh. right shoulder, right? And you put a seven or a two or five <laughs> yeah. or whatever you want to do to make it work. That's how this appliance thing works. That's that's about as simple I could get. I, I'm really, I'm really like really reconsidering because I'm on the uh the part as far as like my operating procedures because I see so many loopholes in this, like, you know, I'm like. Hey man, they ain't did this, they ain't did this, they ain't did this, they ain't did this. So it's just gonna keep growing. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. what I'm saying, you know, because everybody got something, just like what Mike did. Mike did something in this building, in this, in this building, this big building mm-hmm. called appliances. He got a door for you. Mm-hmm. And now it's like, you know, Wizard of Oz, you know what I'm saying? You know, they never expected you to do it. Yeah, no, I don't think anybody, I didn't expect me to do it. Like I said, I've been telling people for years to do it, and I couldn't get anybody um, to actually come in. I, I used to see some videos, well, how-to videos, but I've never seen nobody telling you, this is the money that's out here. You need to come out here and get it. Um, but not, i always been telling people, you need to come here and get this money. There's a lot of money to be made here. Mm-hmm. Um, but now that people are coming here, 
uh, like you said, for for hundreds, but no, for uh, you got people. Uh, grandfather started their businesses, and they uh, and now they taking over. Where it hasn't been a lot of innovation coming coming into uh, appliance repair. No. Other industries, it's kind of been locked off, kind of like my ice cream thing. It's been locked off into a, a little segment of people who know about it, but nobody else did. Now you all are coming in from other industries that's been innovative, where y'all had to go compete. You know, uh, to, to to make it. You come here and you say, "Man, ain't nobody to compete. It's free." <laughs> and so y'all right. are coming in and y'all changing the game now. Where now people got uh, pe- uh y'all bringing the innovation in the stuff that uh, that they're uh, some of y'all are doing. Uh, it, it's phenomenal the stuff that y'all bringing from corporate America. Uh, with all the training and stuff you all have and implement it into appliance repair in the next two to three years, man, it's it's gonna it's gonna take off. It's gonna really take mm-hmm. off. Most definitely. Yeah. Most definitely, I totally agree with you on every on every level. So yeah. they might as well go on and get it done. <laughs> yeah, because what happened? Even, even uh, you no, know, most of the time people lock off their boundaries. You know, here you can you could you could I could be in North Carolina. I could have a, a, a run appliance repairs and, and across the whole fifty states, and nobody say anything and can do it easily. Just 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 call your just call your home <laughs> warranty up and just say hey. Uh, put the zip code down, and and you you can you can run it. And what's happening? People are seeing that, uh, and they said, "Damn, uh, ain't nobody gonna check me coming into another state. They ain't gonna ask me for no license, no rep- no reciprocity or nothing. Give me every. They they go into the third party warranty company saying, "Tell me where you got a hole at, and I'm gonna fill that hole up for you." I would just keep it at one thousand with you, Mike, because you always keep it one thousand. Uh-huh. Right? I already did it. <laughs> you doing it now? <laughs> but, but see, this is what I'm saying. Uh-huh. It ain't just you when you said you had to try to pay people to come in and get money. Uh-huh. It's across the board. <laughs> so if they ain't paying attention, man, it's like, just like I was saying earlier, if somebody pulled up with a truckload full of bricks or something, they'd be jumping all on it. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. They want it. But you know, you got to deal with that part. Yeah. On this part, there's more bricks <laughs> There's more freedom, uh-huh. you know. You got more. You got more. You know, and it, and it, you you provide a service. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You you provide a, a a good service. You know where you could go home and sleep at night. He's not lying to you when he say, get up around nine forty five, ten o'clock. <laughs> go get your coffee. <laughs> you know, drive around before you get to your first call. <laughs> Don't be buying the cheap tools. I did that. One. <laughs> uh, I was in a rush though. I had to swap, swap cars. I would use my caddy, bro. Uh, yeah. See, there you go. You ain't gotta have no. You ain't gotta have. Uh, I mean, you do, but you don't. You know what I'm saying? To get but, started, just yeah, go. Just to get started. But uh, my day in, you know, unless I want to do more, and like I said, uh, it's not me. It's first class services. It's not me. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? For that part, you understand uh-huh. what I'm saying? But it's like uh, people not, you know, unless, I mean, you just don't want to get to the water, man, where, you know, it's already in the drink, you know, everybody <laughs> got to it, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But yeah, everything you're telling is the truth. I, yes, you could deal with, you know, deal with four or five companies, mm-hmm. you know, if you deal, if you, if you strong like that, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And just like I was saying before earlier, you know, I'm coming behind Sears and looking at, I'm like, Hey man, that's a fuck. You hit them for 120, 125, and you get that. Uh-huh. I'm gonna do it too. <laughs> but I'm gonna get it done right though. That's yeah. the difference. You know, the way I set mine up is that I just I'm kind of like expedient. You know what I'm saying? I try, I focus on my, my niches. I be fast with it. You know, I get the service call, mm-hmm. boom, it ain't like, you know, it's within the time frame, you know. Mm-hmm. But you know, everybody else, you know, I don't know what they do, but yeah, it's out there. You know, I don't see it going nowhere. If you got 30% in every city, just just look at it. Look at what we're dealing with right now. Mm-hmm. And you see how many calls we getting like right now. Just it's simple math. Mm-hmm. Now just put a 30, put time 30 <laughs> plus your calls. Yep. Each week, you know, each each week you go see it go up. Mm-hmm. And it's only spring. It ain't even spring. That's right. I we talked we ain't to the, one, to the busy time yet. That's what she told me. She was like. We're not even busy yet. Mm-hmm. I just looked at the phone and I was like, nah, I ain't about to do all that. I ain't gonna <laughs> there's gonna be Mike's need program uh-huh. for a year. Uh-huh. And then God willing, you know, if it don't do anything else, you know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. like I said, I got some other projects that I'm doing. But this one right here is like, okay, <laughs> Tuesday is movie day, Mike. <laughs> AMC, you, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. 
I yeah. shut it off. You know, <laughs> five dollar Tuesdays. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? So it ain't it ain't like you, it ain't like you gotta run it. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. You ain't gotta like run and go get it. But like I said, you put the exponential next to yourself and just know that that thirty percent. You know, like I said, is like you might should go on and get it before they close. They go they go shut it down. Yeah, yeah, it's coming. It's coming. And, uh, uh, it's coming. And if uh, anybody saw the uh, uh, shout out to Tim M. Appliance, he done a call in show the other day. Good call in show. But you you heard you heard that you heard uh, if you were listening to the call in, you heard the people calling in. You know? So uh, you, you hear what some people are thinking. Um, and so that's not just somebody random uh, picking up the phone, calling his number on that call in to do that. So, uh, yeah, so they, the people are going to start uh, coming at you to, to uh, close the doors. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, uh, Shaman05 line, uh, like JT uh, used to start his uh, opening, Mike giving you the blueprint to get out of here and you don't want to do what it takes. <laughs> yeah, we gave him the, uh, give him the, uh, the blueprint. T Finesse, the charge back to BS. Yeah, we, we, we get some of those, uh, like I say, uh, and, and, and those like that, like I tell some of the guys I, when they do that, I say, Man, I, I, if, if if it's that hard, man, just don't just uh just do the just listen to the videos like uh like first class service is done and um and, and and do it that way. But don't mess it up for the other people. Mm-hmm. And then then try to say that somebody stole your credit card. I ain't gonna see your credit card, you know, for nothing like that. <laughs> okay, a uh, newborn live. Uh, Proverbs twelve twenty four. Diligent hands will rule, but the laziness ends in slave labor. Yeah. And the guys, the guys who's doing that, they not gonna, they can't prosper from that. They they can't prosper for doing that. All right. Um, I mean, but even like with Joe's page, you got so many pages running. You know, you know that's what's going on, right? When that? I see your page, I see like three other pages running with yours because you got it popping. You got YouTube popping, like old boys <laughs> said on these posts, right? So dig it. It ain't. I mean, even even if you really don't know. Nothing about, I mean, you gotta have your hand dexterity, right? You gotta have that, right, you right, know, right. but um, I would just tell people get like the basics. That's that's one thing TNN did. He's, he said, this is the basics in this little bag. Mm-hmm. You watch Mike, mm-hmm. you see, you know, cause you, you, you come through and give them jewels, you know, with, you know, with the quick fixes. Mm-hmm. But if you like on the fence, just watch his videos. And after you watch the videos and everybody else, you know, you you you'll be all right. You you get it, you know, you'll get it, you know. And just and just just don't try to jump out there on the cash, you know what I'm saying? Because if if you get that board, if you get that board and you gotta replace that board, <laughs> yeah, yeah, a couple hundred dollars, you get a couple of couple dollars. hundred dollars, you gonna be salty, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, 89 Dr. Funk. By the way, Mike, I agree. You should be charging more. Yeah. Nah. I told Mike to charge y'all 50 grand a pop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're, uh, we're, no, we're, we're, we're I, I was upset that, uh, that, uh, Mr. Appliance, uh, uh, God knows I shouldn't say that. I was upset that somebody had, had got hit in the head for 100 grand. <laughs> and, uh, right. First class services said that's what you're supposed to do. Say so, uh, you, you separate them and say you hit them in the head for a hundred grand. You know, uh, you you get ten and you 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 in and out instead of two ninety five or somebody calling you a thief because I said you know scam them for two hundred ninety five dollars. <laughs> you don't worry about that at all. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. You see, I've come full circle. Uh-huh. They tripping on that. I said that ain't even an interest. That ain't even two percent interest on a hundred grand. <laughs> yeah, I'm showing you how you can make a, a, a hundred thousand dollars, and he gonna he gonna call and say, hey, he stole my credit card and charged two ninety five. Yeah, I logged in thirteen times and you know completed the courses. Right. And then, I, I'm, he said when somebody's uh, he gonna tell me somebody went to my mailbox and stole my mail. Who get mail? With your email on it, <laughs> password. <laughs> Ain't nobody going to no mailbox stealing nothing. They don't go checks coming to mail no more. Uh, so, but yeah, so uh, yeah, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Mike Train. Uh, even Old Republic told me it's slow season here and now. Yeah, it's slow everywhere. This is this is a slow season uh, right now. That's why everybody had their conferences. When it when it hit, man. When it uh, honest. When it when it when it when it hit. It's gonna to get to a point where when your phone rings, your stomach gonna turn. You're gonna be like, God no, they calling me again because what's gonna happen, you're gonna be totally booked up for the whole week and you, you're not gonna have any room to put anybody else. And people are gonna get mad when, when they call, 
and like now when they call and I tell them, hey, we uh, right now I'm booking for Thursday and Friday. You can't come any sooner. Nah, that's as soon as we got. Well, I'm gonna call back and see if I can get somebody else. Then call around. Everybody else the same way. They said, man, uh, why why is taking so long? I said, there's no response repair man here. Everybody's booked up. I'm in the wrong business. Yeah, I've been telling y'all that. <laughs> they have to they have to schedule out. Uh, it's been uh, it's just too much work out here. Right. Right. All right. Uh, uh, Nestle works. Say thanks for all the info. You're welcome. Oh wow, that's DC and Alpha Plans repairs. He's currently booking up the remainder of the week. Yeah, he booked for the week. Uh, Nestle works. Do all the warranty companies want you to have commercial auto and a marked car? No, you can just put a. Uh, you can. Uh, some of them you have to have some. They have to have some type of uh, insurance on your car because you drive into the actual customer house doing work with them. If you hit somebody, they want to make sure you got insurance and they don't come after them. But you don't. Um, you have to have like you get like you don't have to put like a wrap or anything on your car. You can just put a magnet sign on it and tell you can get a van or whatnot. And I'll tell you guys on that slide too, man. Just going to get all that done, man. Yeah. Because you don't want because when because yeah because the thing is you know when you get like congested with all that work and all that little administrative stuff that you should have already took care of, it's gonna come and bite you on the back end. So yeah, just get all your administrative work out. You know what I'm saying? Like I said. You can't find nobody giving you this like nowhere like that. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be honest with you about it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just get all your that's all that's your administrative. He kept telling y'all on all those videos, he was like, yo, the administrative part is worse than you know what I'm saying, the technical side. <laughs> the administrative part. He you could go look at every last one of your videos and you told him, but that's what I'm saying, you know, just get that part done. Mm -hmm. You know, just get it. Cause that's remember I told you, I said, I told you like when I started, it was like I had to finish that and then I waited. But then right. after I got it, it just like took off. Mm -hmm. And I already know how to do what I had to do, you know, schematics mm -hmm. and all that, you know, right. you know, the electrical safety test and all that, mm -hmm. you know, but the administrator side, that's what's going to bite you, you know, yeah. get it out, just get it done, man. Just going to pay that little money and get it over with. Yeah. And, uh, and also <laughs> to make sure you do your, uh, you close out your work orders every, every night. Don't, don't, I know you, you're going to want to, cause you're going to be tired getting home. So I'm going to do it tomorrow morning. Or I'm going to do it, do it the next day. If you skip a day, you will have twice as much work to do the next day if you don't have a CSR. So you have to get in the habit of actually doing the same thing every day, closing out your work orders, ordering your parts. Um, you got you to get in the habit of doing that every day. Otherwise, if you wait, you're going to double and triple up on you. And you, you really gonna, you're going to be up to 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning then. So mm -hmm. make sure you, uh, you, you, you're closing your work orders and stuff out every day. All right. mm -hmm. And uh, this is another good tip. DCNF Appliance is telling Mike Trend, uh, to add more companies to his pool. This way you don't become dependent on one stream of, uh, for workflow. So yeah, so you just don't want to be just doing one third party yeah. warranty call uh, because what happened if you and that, uh, you and that, uh, your rep get on uh, bad terms, then he can, he can, he or she can actually uh, throttle your calls back and you'd be in trouble. But if you're doing three, you got three or four of them in the loop. Um, if they throttle you back, you can just pick up the phone and just call somebody else and say, hey, uh, increase my calls or take me off hold and uh, you you back and running and can't nobody hurt you. Mm -hmm. and he just gave y'all the jewel because he just gave you, if it was three calls and you got three companies, mm -hmm. that's nine calls in one day. <laughs> so like I said, if you listen to what he's telling you, you know what I'm saying? He's telling you how to stay ahead of the game. Remember that the basis, when he started, like when I looked at it, it's like a hundred pop, you know what I'm saying? If you could do that, if you could multiply, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> If he give you nine calls a day, nine calls, uh -huh. and the average is like around, you know, I ain't gonna say it like that, but let's just say three. Uh -huh. You know, let's just say three, depending what you're doing, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, some of those calls, you may have to do the, the refrigerator, <laughs> yeah. <microwave, laughs> and the dishwasher. Mm -hmm. Now, that's just one call, though. Mm -hmm. So, he giving it to you like every time. He giving it to you like every time. He ain't, I guess, like I said, I just pull back some of the wool for him if they ain't like, they ain't like getting it, man. 50 grand. <laughs> <laughs> they need to hit him in the head for 50. <laughs> <laughs> they could they wish they gave you that $300. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah, you, you hit those nest eggs sometimes. You get three or four in, the, in, the, in, uh, in there. And there's another thing too. Once you start doing the appliance repair and stuff, a lot of times people don't have time to do the other stuff. Like, do you do any dryer vent cleaning or any of that? 
<laughs> I just got hit upside the head the other day. I got to go back. Oh yeah, yeah, for real. I just okay. yeah, I I just told him to go ahead and do it, man. But he said, <laughs> but dig this. He was like, no, nah, man, just come and do it. I was like, all right. <laughs> Literally, I was like, man, all right, man. I tried it. I was, I, I threw it out of you know what I mean. Uh -huh. It's like about one thirty five, one forty five. Uh -huh. I'll come do it for a bill for you. You know what I'm saying? He was like, bet. <laughs> what even don't work at it? He just he just bit on it. <laughs> just like that, and it's all love though. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. It's all love. I ain't trying to like do no. But around here, yeah, some cats they getting that one thirty five. To uh, oh, to the clean driving. They 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 got they got it. You know what I'm saying? Wrapped around their vehicles. That's all they doing. Driving and cleaning. That's all they doing. Wow. <laughs> and that same thing I said. I was like, wow. Yeah. What's wrong with me, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? But it is what it is, man. You just got to find your lane, what you're comfortable with, you know? Yeah. You know, you got to do everything either, you know? Just, you know. That's what, that's what I'm trying to tell people. Uh, I, I give you a array of things that you can do, but you don't have to do all of them. You can just do the driving, mm -hmm. cleaning, make you money. You can do the blenders, make you money. You can be able to do the garage door openers when we bring that in and make you money. You can do the appliance to make you money. You got a array of things you can do to make your money. Uh, matter of fact, we have a we have a lady who's coming on to the show uh, uh, either next week or the week after that, where she uh, she that's all she does is drive and clean, and uh, she's making money. Uh, you might have seen a, a post that I put up that she wrote uh, where her father is actually sick and uh, she's cleaning drive ins has gave her enough money to actually go out and be able to help her mom and help her dad. And she uh, and she actually, I ain't gonna tell too much of her story, but she actually make more clean and dry events than she do on, on, with her job. For real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, For real. I'm gonna, I'm All you gonna, need is 10 a week. Yeah, yeah. That's 52 a year. That's right. And they ain't but two a day. Two a day. <laughs> So, Holly yeah. JT, and then he puts a little whist name in the background for you. <laughs> yeah, no, no. <laughs> all right, all right. We're gonna read a couple more, then we're gonna get out of here. All right, uh, we got Prestige Mobile Detail. Hey, how you doing? Uh, CCN, they, uh, they uh, actually uh, got some um, networking going on. <clears throat> and uh, thank you all for helping each other out, man. I really appreciate that. Uh, Mike Tran. Uh, Mike Tran, there's, uh, there are so many. Uh, have you came to Appliance Boot Camp? If you came to Appliance Boot Camp, go to the online and it's a, a worksheet and it's a third party warranty that file. Open that up and they got they got over three pages of third party warranty. Uh, don't get so don't get so uh, don't get so uh, tunnel vision where you think you got to get the ones everybody talking about. Uh, mm -hmm. AHS, Old Republic, and all this. Uh, find whoever's in your area. Because they some of the newer startups are some might be even better than the older ones because they want to come in and actually knock the older ones off. So if you come in and y'all work together and you got good uh, a good uh, regional rep, uh, they they throw you a bunch of work. You got to get out there and actually just start uh, just start promoting your business. You you don't uh, you, you it's not like you you're looking at it almost like you get going to look for a job interview. You taking your business and you're gonna find somebody who matches with your business. Don't look at it like you're doing a job interview. If they fool and stuff, it's like it's like kind of like when I used to go play basketball. I'm short, but I love to play basketball. And if I if I came out there and I asked somebody, I say, uh, who got next? They'd be like, uh, I do. You got everybody. Uh no, nah. can I run? No, nah, gonna get me a big man. Let me see who lose. I don't watch him call. I don't get mad because he don't want to pick me up. I say, okay, I hope you I hope you win when I, when I get up there because I'm guarding you. You ready right. to compete. That's the same right. thing. If they tell you they don't want you or whatnot, you don't get mad. You say, okay, F you. I I I'm I'm going to I'm going to your competition and I'm gonna run you out. Uh, I'm gonna we're gonna I'm gonna go to somebody else and we're gonna come compete and, and run you out of business. That's that's the way you do it now. You you plan uh you in business. So mm -hmm. if somebody don't want to give your business a a, a, a a a go, you go compete. You go there and you 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 beat them. And that's how you that's how you do that. Hey, how you doing, Wild Wins? Uh, Carolina crew is workman's compensation required for your LLC. Mm -hmm. If you got three or less employees in North Carolina, no. Um, but I think that's pretty much everywhere, every state. Uh, you can mm -hmm. you can waive workman's comp. Uh, Mike, what do you think about becoming Lowe's independent service provider? That's from Mike Train. I've never done any work from Lowe's. Uh, uh, people at the uh, 
Matter of fact, uh, at the Ashley's, Lowe's was there. People seem to be pretty happy with them from when I was in the meeting. Uh, matter of fact, you was in the meeting too with the Lowe's people, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was. <laughs> yeah, you was, you was. <laughs> do, you, do you do any work for them? I've been so busy, I got the email. I just haven't <laughs> hit them back yet, bro. Being honest, just keeping 1,000 with you. Oh, they, they emailed mean, you out? Come on, man. They, they, <laughs> they about to really take over the whole game. So it's yeah. like, it's just an extra resource. Just piggybacking on what you was telling the guy earlier, man. Now, you got to create your own lane with this. You know what I'm saying? If you got to go to a gas station, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, but it might be a Shells. It might be an Amoco or, mm -hmm. or Safeway or whatever out your way. You know what I'm saying? You know, you just got to sell yourself, you know, mm -hmm. because you're in competition and you want to be able to do the job. You know what I mean? So yeah, um, I looked at Lowe's. I'm still looking at Lowe's. I'm, I've been that messed up as far as trying to catch up and send the email back. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, honestly, I don't, I don't. One <clears throat> time I was gonna go out uh, for you all and go to the third parties because I, I, I do mainly COD work. I do just a little bit for American Home Shield Home Buyers Warranty. Um, but I, um, all I, I do is COD. So uh, when I started doing appliance boot camp. I said, I was going to uh, go out there and find the best third-party warranties. I signed on with two, but they started sending me so much work. I said, I said man, I ain't got time to be doing this. You know, there, there's so many phone calls and stuff. I said, I can't do this. But what happened, luckily, um, you all started going out, and y'all started uh, uh, looking at the third-party warranties, and especially Mr. O, when he put that worksheet together. Now everybody now are getting together telling you the good ones and the bad ones. I ain't got to go out there. But uh, like he was asking me about Lowe's, nah, go out there and try. Uh, you go out there and you uh, you find out what you like about them and you come back and report. Um, you go out there and you break the ground with them. Uh, they were at the Ashley's. Usually if somebody at the Ashley's, they're usually doing pretty good work because what happened, they're not going to show up no place like there and you got to see you face-to-face -face kneecap the new kneecap and and, and like a choice on warranty, they're not going to show up because they know people looking for them. Well, if they showing up and they they letting them present and stuff, usually they on the up and up. Mm -hmm. Another thing that you had gave them the jewel about when you had that uh that video <laughs> when you had the delivery truck and you had told them that y'all could make like what was it like five hundred a thousand dollars a day? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I don't think they believe you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll be done before noon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't funny. think they believe you because if you go deal with Lowe's, I mean, I just gave you the jewel, you know, right. <laughs> because they hurting. Right. Everybody hurt. Everybody hurt. Lowe's hurt. Uh, Sears hurting. Matter of fact, uh, I just told my buddy, he he owns a, a couple of Sears stores. I just told him, I said, man, you got to find you somebody else because uh, I, I, I'm not going to, my nephew, he's, he's taking over and my nephew don't want to do deliveries. And uh, mm -hmm. I said, um, I don't want to, I'm not the one to do no deliveries and stuff anymore. And uh, the crew that uh, normally do my delivery, they now, uh, they now have the contract to do, uh, to do, uh, God knows, uh, <clears throat> what, what, not Sam's Club, but the, the one that's over Target. Um, uh, who, who do, uh, who's this wholesaler for Target? Um, BJ's? I'm not familiar. We oh, got okay. Costco out this way. Okay, Costco, Costco. Oh, it's they're Costco? Doing, yeah, they're doing Costco and Ferguson. So they're doing the high-end stuff. So where I was paying them uh, uh, maybe $80 per stop, uh, now they're getting $120, $130. And uh, they say, hey, man, we ain't going to put your shit on, excuse me, we ain't going to put your stuff on the truck no more. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> if, if you're taking up space for $80, not unless you're going to step it up. We ain't going to do it. And I, I'm telling them, I can't cut them. I can't cut no more meat off the bone uh, unless right. I give it directly to you. So I'm going back to uh, to the guys who own the Sears store. I said I can't do it, man. Matter of fact, one of them, he he, uh, I told him I can't do it. He's actually coming to meet with me this week. He said, "Man, I got to come talk to you, man. You can't stop." I was like, "Man, we we I, I can't do it anymore, and I can't I can't find anybody uh, to go." I wanted to get these two young guys that actually been mm -hmm. helping me renovate the stores, put them on it. But uh, one of them just messed his license up, so now, now he can't he can't drive anything. I said, man, I ain't, I ain't got nobody I can put out there, and I don't want to go out there looking for nobody. Be honest, uh, I don't want to go back through it. I'm just going to give it to you. Mm -hmm. I was at Kelly Services last week, uh -huh. <laughs> looking for some help. 
Because <laughs> you can't, you know, people don't want to do it. And that's, yeah. all right, so, all right, you know, uh, I got a partner that I mess with, you know what I'm saying? That's fam, so, you know, I split uh, it, you know what I mean? But uh, you can go get somebody at Kelly Services, but on the flip side, yeah, it's my, it, it, it's it's in every, res, it's on there, I call it reservations. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> If I'm in the Carolina, I'm gonna respect the natives and, and you right. chief. So I want to talk to the chief about how you get it, right? right. You know what I'm saying? Because every reservation, it's right. on every reservation where they need help. Yeah. In some parts of this country, I'm gonna tell you, the numbers are way more high. Because I talked to like a female on the back end uh -huh. from the home warranty companies, and she was like, "It's yeah, it's cool over there, but over here, it's hurting so bad. A person <laughs> really go come up. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Yeah." Yeah. Okay. It just depends on somebody want it, man. That's all I get. If you want it, it's out there. Okay. Uh, uh, no, I never worked with Service Power, uh, CCNH 1978. I, I, never even, I never even heard of them. Um, that might be uh, somewhat local coming up in your area. Um, T Funesh, did y'all redo the online vids yet? I know that was the plan. Uh, no, the online vids will be up in about, they're going to start uh, coming in next week. And over the next two to three weeks, we'll have them all redone. I didn't want to do the online vid videos until we got the new appliances in. We got all the new appliances in. So now I can start doing the videos after this next class that's coming up. All right. Uh, oh, for, uh, what's good, Mike? Hey, uh, Yo-Yo Williams, uh, uh, Nestle. And Mike says something about not getting insurance that you get a contract, but they asking for insurance up front. It seems, no, nah, they not. They, uh, you uh, if, if, if on your application just put uh, available upon request, uh, you don't get the insurance because uh, you don't know what they what uh, what rates they're gonna want you to have. Don't go get your insurance until you get a contract, and they know that once you uh, get ready to sign on, they'll tell you then to go get your insurance. Facts, facts. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and then if you go talk to the insurance agent, you don't even know what you tell them you need. So what they're gonna give you a. a uh, uh, in, what you take to your actual insurance agent. So uh, otherwise, uh, you won't, you don't even know what you what they even want, or how they even want it worded, uh, as far as their name as additional insurer. All right, uh, Creative Connections. Uh, hey, Mike, congrats on the new facility. Much, much uh, more success. Thank you. I appreciate that. Nani, baby. What's a service call with uh, Mr. O Fix It today? Uh, oh, okay, Nani's baby. Say he went on a service call with Mr. O Fix It today. Uh, Samsung fridge building up frost. After 10 minutes in the customer home, then jitters was gone. <laughs> Richmond take over. Way to go, man. Congratulations. Uh, 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 now, now those uh, uh, service, those jitters are gone. And thank you, Mr. O, for taking him out there, man. I appreciate that. All right. They got a little networking going on. Uh, Bob Knight, what's up, Mike? Thanks for the blueprint. I got the course ready to take over in New York City. Okay. Way to go. All right. I think I uh, got a little bit more. I'm going to uh, skim through. They got a bunch of stuff. I'm going to skim through. I ain't going to take too much more of your time. We're going to uh, slide on out here because they got a bunch of stuff going on here. Oh, you good, bro. Okay. Uh, CBAS44, you have to pay up front for a background check with Lowe's. Okay. Uh, they got a background <laughs> check. Okay. Uh, Nestle works. Can I do this with a pickup or should I be in the van? Uh, we just told you, you done yours and your Cadillac starting off, Dean. Still doing it in my Cadillac. <laughs> Still doing it in my Cadillac. See, there you go. You don't have to have uh, the new car. Most of the people just start in the car that they have and just put your sign on it and go, man. Yeah. They want to have it fixed. Now, later on, you would, you would transition into a van or a pickup. And you would, right. after you start doing your service calls, you'll figure out what you like to work out of. I, uh, some people like working out of a pickup. I, I, I didn't quite like it because if I'm looking for stuff, um, and if it was raining outside, I had to stand outside in the rain and look in the uh, back of the pickup to try to get it. I like the van because if it's raining, I can get inside, don't have to get wet. But I knew some people like pickup because they like to pick up, uh, uh, they like to sell and flip appliances. So with the pickup, they could throw the pickup and uh, the appliances in the back of the truck. And they just had the little tool bins on the side. So they still had the, the inside where they could, they could deliver and pick up appliances. Uh, I didn't like it. All right. I see bass for the four. I'm still waiting on them to contact me for the rest. Uh, while you waiting, go to other people, man. Just don't, just don't sit there and wait. Don't wait. Uh, anybody in Atlanta doing work with AHS? They probably are. Uh, they got people networking here. Okay, let's see what we got here. 
uh, DC and uh, Plants Perk, you have to go to the future to see it. Okay, you've seen a lot of uh, a lot of uh, entrepreneurs are saying, yeah, they do do that. And like I say, if you tell somebody that 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 doesn't, they have never built anything, they never had to take anything out of their mind and bring it to uh, uh, fruition and, and build it and stuff, uh, they'll take you crazy. When I when I, when I say, hey, uh, I got I got a vision and this this is where we're gonna go. And even uh, even the guys that's working with me when we first starting off. They, they, they can't see where I'm going. They'd be like, man, you sure? You sure? Yeah, we're going about halfway through my vision then become theirs. They can see it. They say, okay, I see where we're going now. And then they buy into it and we move on. But a lot of times when you, you start talking to people like that, that's when they start calling you Kanye West and Soldier Boy and all that, like they used to call me. Dang, for real? <laughs> oh, it's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I can tell you, know, it's two good books a person can read. You go look at The Secret. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it breaks that down. And uh -huh. I say Celestine Prophecy, you know, both those two books, you know. I, I never I never read that. What's, what's, the, uh, what's the next one? I read The Secret. What's the next one? Celestine Prophecy. That's it breaks. It breaks it all down for you. You know, be, be able. And that's like, you know, that's like the beginning part of it. You know, with on this level, you know what I'm saying? You 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 creating it you, as you go. So if you think that you ain't going to make if you wake up and you think that you ain't going to make that that whatever you trying to make you're not gonna make it you're not you ain't gonna make it you ain't gonna make it Simple you're not gonna make it uh, that's the honest to god truth if you think you're not gonna make it yeah i'm gonna think, tell you something just like i told you when i ran into you uh, remember how i told you when i got to <laughs> when i get rolled up with you with the uh with the polos and uh -huh. I rolled down there without nothing, you know right. what I'm saying? <laughs> and I walked dead up in there and walked straight out in the hat, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you know, yeah, most if you if you think just put it like this, if you're on the fence with it, man, go follow one mother YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you if you on the fence with it, if you like, man, I can't afford to, I'm gonna tell you literally what I did. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you just a little bit of it. You uh -huh. know, like I said, I took I already had tools, right? But you know, just 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 for anybody, you know what I'm saying. Go to your hood, homie, or whatever, or whatever, or go to the pawn shop and just start out with that ten or fifteen dollars, you know, twenty dollars or whatever that you have, you know, and then put yourself in a situation. Because if you don't ever put yourself in a situation, it's never gonna happen for you, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got to do that. And then after you get that first service call, that's gonna be the most satisfying gratification that you <laughs> ever have in your life. I understand what I'm saying because you go look back at it. After you know you got your kids and your grandkids and everybody else, your property, your IRA, your raw, your <laughs> fidelity, you know what I'm saying? Everything to bring build wealth. You know, that's that's what it's about, right? Uh -huh. you know, so it, then you go be able to look back and be like, hey, you know, I did it. You know, all you gotta do is just take that first step, brother. That's yeah. all. There you go. There you go. Yeah, and that like the guy who uh, I think is Mike Tran keep talking about ain't no warranty companies hiring. They not gonna hire you because you don't believe you don't think you're gonna get hired and you bring Thank that on to yourself. You. you bring that in. <laughs> they, nobody never gonna hire you because all you're thinking about is all the people who not hiring you, not hiring you. You're not thinking about I need to go find somebody else. You got you gotta be ready to fight, man. That's what if you, you're an entrepreneur, you gotta come in prepared to fight. You gotta come in prepared yep. to fight and, and, and survive. And you, right. you're gonna you're gonna then you're gonna thrive for the fight. You're gonna want to fight. You, you, right. you, come on, you got you got come on and, and go get it, man. Let me give it to our own boy. You know what I'm saying? All right, okay, we we go we accept that. Okay, mm -hmm. we oh we go. All right, that's valid. Okay, let's dig this. This is what you gonna do. Go to any apartment complex building. I'm talking about the big ones. You know what I'm saying? And that's a good way to get in for learning how to do the washers and the dryers. You know what I'm saying? Go to one of them and then go on the other side of town, hit the other big apartment complex mm -hmm. building. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't talking about like, you know, yeah, you can do the government ones. I was about to say something, go see who's doing it for the government, you know, okay. Section 8 or whatever. Mm -hmm. They need their stuff fixed. Mm -hmm. And then just solicit your business to them. Just get your capability plan. You know, you go online and just get a capability plan. That's what help your business. You go get you a capability plan and it's really a template. I mean, all you gotta do, fill in the blanks, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Get your capability plan, put your logo, your number and everything, your email. 
don't use, you know, a, a Yahoo, you know what I'm saying? Go get a real email, pay the little $10 or whatever it is, or call your homie and just show you how to do it. And then get your capability plan and then solicit to them. Don't put all your eggs in one basket dealing with this game. There you go. When you do that, you go, you like really setting yourself up for like the downtime. So if I, I mean, like I said, he gave you everything. He gave you a home warranty company. He gave you the blenders. <laughs> yeah, you every house, majority every house in America got a garage. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All right, now if you can't get past that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you can't, get, I mean, even with the garage, I don't want to do garage door. <laughs> right? Don't you have you know, to? I don't even want to mess with them. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't mess with. I don't. I don't mess with. You know, garbage disposals either. Uh, that's hot. Yeah. You, know, you want to do the garbage disposal? That's that's hot. Yeah. You know, if you want to do that, you know, that's 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 hot. <laughs> Uh -huh. But it, it just don't put yourself like in or box yourself in, as I call it. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of cats, they box themselves in with situations mm -hmm. when, you know, you got to fight yourself out of that paper bag, but you put yourself in that paper bag <laughs> you know, and it was wet, you know, yeah. <laughs> so you could get out of that, you know, uh -huh. without a problem. It's just you got to be highly creative, you know. Uh -huh. and, yeah. Uh, I, I I think a lot of it comes to uh, just uh, just society has 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 a uh, has has put a, a, a kind of like that kind of like you go to the uh, you go to the circus and you see that elephant and all they got is this little small rope tied around his leg and they got it connected to this little wooden stake that's yeah. uh that's in the ground. I and say it for you. You want me to say it? Go ahead. Yeah, slavery messed us up. Yeah, it messed us up. <laughs> slavery they killed messed us up. <laughs> Some of us ain't go go think that we could do more than what you could think, bro. It, it, it I killed us. It for you. It, it's 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 I man, I'm all over the country. I'm mm -hmm. overseas. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And slave, trust me, trust me when I tell you. Mm -hmm. Even if overseas, the ones that got us like that, you uh -huh. know, no disrespect. I'm just uh -huh. saying, I ain't saying it like that. Uh -huh. I'm saying that it messed us up. Mm -hmm. So everybody, if you could find that light, it's a client's boot camp, it's a big old sun in the back of the background <laughs> showing you, you know what I'm saying, which way, all right, this is where it's at, right? Uh -huh. All you got to do is just pay attention to the, 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 the breadcrumbs. I just call them breadcrumbs and videos, you know what I'm saying? Breadcrumbs are the videos for you to get out of that situation because you know you in that situation, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, like, if you tripping about some other thing, you know, that right. don't really even make sense because when you go back and look at it like hindsight, because all of us do it, we all scientists, right? Mm -hmm. You go back and look at it, you be like, man, that really wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Let me go to the next. Right. I mean, slavery like messes up. I'll just be honest, you know. Yeah, it, 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 it ain't no disrespect to nobody else's, you know, culture or whatever, but as far as like black people, we have a problem with depending or believing in ourselves. And, and I, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I, it, it even it's, it, um, it's even with me, believe it or not, some things I know is BS, <laughs> but it's been instilled in me so much that I have to, it's almost like uh, somebody saying they, they not become an alcoholic sometimes, they didn't have to fight every day not to go take a drink. Some stuff that, I, that was instilled in me, I know is total BS. But I still have to fight myself every day not to not to believe it, to, to get it out my mind, because yeah. it, was, it was just so it was just so embedded in me um, mm -hmm. that I have to actually fight every day to, to get it out. Even um, um, I, I tell you how bad it is. Uh, even all the stuff that uh, uh, that the, even the little stuff that I've done, I ain't done nothing really big. But even the stuff that uh, the little stuff that I'm done. Uh, and uh, with with uh, with my businesses that I've, I've created, uh, the lifestyle I created for my family and stuff like that, even in my immediate family, uh, I'm talking about my kids. They don't think what I do is any good. They they they've been thinking uh, their their thing is yeah, what you do is okay. But when I go to college, I'm gonna get a job and it, 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 it's it's gonna be twenty times better than what, what you do. So even even what I do. They uh they don't they don't think what I do is uh is is the way to go. They 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 they've been they've been they've been indoctrinated that they, they, they think they have to go to college. So now when I'm telling them you don't have to go to college, uh whatever they're trying to teach you, we got a business here. You come here, you want to be an accountant, fine. You uh you go take accounting and you come back be the accountant for me. If you uh if you if you if you want to go take business, I ain't gonna uh, like my uh, my son that uh that's working with me now. 
uh, I finally convinced him, hey, if you want to know business, I'll send you down here uh, uh, for this uh, uh, ice cream thing. And, and you go down there and let them teach you business. And you come back in, and you run this business and put it together. That's better than anything you'll get at a university. And it's a lot cheaper for me. You know? <laughs> and you're going to make more money. Uh, then me going out here paying somebody to try to teach you business and, and never even, and them personally had never even opened up a lemonade stand. And mm-hmm. then I tell my not my kids and stuff, I said, y'all saw I was on the advisory board and I talked to the deans and, and I talked to the, the chancellors and stuff. Y'all saw how they be asking me questions and I come tell y'all they don't know what they talking about, but still y'all, y'all still want to go pay them money to teach you something they, they, they can't do themselves. I mean, most right. of them are asking me how I'm doing what I'm doing. No, right. Sure. Yeah, that's that's that the, the, the thing is the thing is with that mm-hmm. is that they gotta see it later because you move in you move you moving so fast that they can't see it. That's that's what the problem is. And that's what the problem is like with you know with everybody. It's like the boot camp. Mm-hmm. It's moving so fast. I deal with nanoseconds in my world, you know what uh-huh. I'm saying? Because stuff be moving fast, you know, mm-hmm. there's nanoseconds. But some people be moving in seconds. You know, so what you doing, you moving in nanoseconds mm-hmm. and they not understanding like this is where the pot of gold is at. So like what I said, on breadcrumbs that you leave in is like, you know, the avatar that came, you know, everybody was around him and he came and gave it to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but now you gone and, you know, then they got to figure it out then, you know what I'm saying? Because that's 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 just the that's just the irony, man. I, I tell anybody, you know, just being honest, just, just, just being straight up, bro. Man, you got you got a real nice little product. Oh, so I, the branding. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm not saying it like that. I'm mm-hmm. I'm literally saying like you got a Fortune 500 thing, and they don't want it, <laughs> people don't want because you're a modest guy. But I could say I say I could say it for you. Uh-huh. You got a Fortune 500 thing, and, and the people don't want to see it. You know what I'm saying? You know, they don't want to admit it or they probably just can't see it, you know, because me and you know that. Come on, that's a billion people on the planet. You mean there's only 250 right. people yeah. looking at this? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. it's a fast track. Check this out. In every city, you got an RN fast track you know, program mm-hmm. going on, right? Uh-huh. That's two years to go make 60 grand. Right. <laughs> you right. figure that one out, right? No doubt. <laughs> You'd have been able to pass them up with 200 grand on that 60. Uh-huh. You see that? You, yeah. you what's that? Yeah. 60 what? You like 40 each on that. So you 80 grand ahead of somebody. Uh-huh. See what I'm uh, saying? Yeah. Uh this year coming up, they're gonna uh they're gonna really see the appliance boot camp. Uh, uh this year we got a lot of stuff coming on and uh we're gonna we stepping it up. Uh but yeah, uh we I gotta move fast. And um that's one of the things uh like uh like my family is always asking me, uh why you why you starting all these businesses why you keep moving and i was telling them uh i was listening to a uh uh interview uh, with 50 cent the other day he was talking about and uh you know when, when you got a hit you you gotta you got when you hot you gotta stay hot you, you don't, gotta you, stay hot you, don't, you don't you don't you don't what's from call you don't you don't you, you don't you don't take no time off when you hot when you hot you gotta keep hitting it so he was talking up they were talking about the guy uh Freddie uh, Watt. Freddie the Watt. there one. you go yeah. he took some time off because because uh, he couldn't figure out his contract and stuff and trying to get that stuff situated. Now, look, he can't get back in and make a hit. He, he got you got to ride it when you're hot. And that's the same thing. You know, some stuff I ain't I ain't quite figured it out yet, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hey now that I got the hot hand, I gotta keep putting it out there, man. And yeah. so that's that's what we're doing now. We're actually um um right now we, we got something that's going that's hot and popping. And um, I, I got I got to keep I got to keep throwing it out there while while it's coming to me. I can't I can't sit down uh, as long as he's giving me uh, I'm getting I'm getting visions and I'm getting places where I need to go. And uh, I, I'm, I'm seeing the visions. I know good visions and stuff. Hey, I'm, I'm going to keep going while, while I got the hot hand on it. Uh, before I do something, I hope I don't do nothing to mess it up. But as long as, long as nah, he's putting it to me, I'm, I'm going to keep going out there with it. Yeah, that's good. Just remember all the just just I just want to, just a piece of the IPO. Just give me a good. <laughs> I'll put mine out there right now. Give me about a thousand shares for for fifty cent right now. I'm good with it. No doubt, no doubt. All right, eighty nine, Doctor Funk. Man, you are using your imagination, which is your mind's eye. That's not crazy. That's God talent working for you. 
we all have that we just all tap into it. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, I do. I, I do say people uh, it's God giving me uh, a vision. Here you go. He go slick. Uh, appliance money is like crack money. You you won't believe how fast it gets. I, I used to say that. I used to honestly. I used to say that slick. I, I say, man, it's like it's, it's almost like selling drugs. Just money coming in and uh, people uh, like they used to talk about the line of people actually coming out there uh, waiting to buy drugs. I say it's the same thing with appliance repair. Just people just begging you to do it, and it, uh, and, and it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, we're just going to read just one or two more of these, and then we're going to uh, slide out. We just got too many comments for me to go through all of them. I want to be mindful uh, 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 of the actual uh, everybody's time. Uh, what I'm going to do, if, uh, if if you haven't already, you need to sign up for uh, Appliance Boot Camp. Uh, this is the last week. If you're going to get grandfathered in, and I say grandfathered in, that means uh, anything new that we... Uh, that we actually add in the future, you would get automatically get that. Uh, you get all the stuff we have uh, in the uh, we've done in the past, and that's the way of me saying thanking you all for uh, for helping me plant these seeds to actually get it going. Um, after after this week on the 29th, um, uh, anybody who comes in after that, uh, and you don't have to be paid in full. You can set up the payment plan. Anybody who comes in after that. They're gonna actually have to. Uh, they're gonna be broken up into different parts. Everybody's not gonna be grandfathered in. Now, the other thing too, if you watch McCall, if you go out and uh, you sign up for a Plans Boot Camp and you pay in full, you need to go register for your actual uh, uh, the hands-on event. Um, I've done a video showing you how to do it. Also, uh, what's McCall? Uh, uh, it's a link in there. You need to go there. I need to know how many people are coming. Um, I'm going to send a link out later today or uh, later tonight, uh, just trying to get a feel of how many people are coming because some people didn't know. They just already had planned and they didn't register. So I need to get a feel of how many people we're going to have coming this weekend. Um, so uh, once again, uh, man, I want to thank you again. I don't want to say your name because we've got crazy people out here. I just say first class services, man. I appreciate uh, uh, you coming out and you actually doing the, um, doing this interview with us. Um, like I say, uh, uh, you'll be at the Ashley's again next year. I don't know, man. It, you know, I, I want to be there, but if you go be there, I, it's, um, I'm I'm putting fifty up every week just in case. Let's put it like that. <laughs> there you go. You know okay. Yeah, I, I'm gonna. Be I mean, there. because it's a San Antonio thing. That's you know, I just want to go see San Antonio. San Antonio. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. The river walk and all that. It was good. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be there at the Ashley's. Matter of fact. I'm gonna be. At, I'm, I'm going to the Marcon um, one in Vegas in a couple of weeks too. I've never been to Marcon, but um, I'm, uh, I'm not telling nobody else to go because I don't know what they have out there. But I'm actually going to Vegas to Marcon, and I, I'm actually going to be taping and doing the same thing I done at the Ashley's. So I'll be able to come back and tell you all what I thought about that and how things operating there. And I'm, I'm also going to be at the PSA this year too. They're going to be in Orlando, so um, uh, we're going to be a, a world class. Appliance boot camp. We got we got to get out there with everybody else who, who's teaching these courses and stuff, and we got to compete with them. So if uh, if you right. if, if you want to be a top sprinter, you just can't you just can't try to beat the person in your high school. You got to go out there and, and try to beat the people, mm -hmm. the national champ. So mm -hmm. we're going out to the national uh, um, schools and stuff this year. So if if, if they're gonna be uh, at the conventions, then uh, appliance boot camp got to be at the convention too. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Well, Mm -hmm. uh, so once again, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Um, uh, like I say, uh, thank y'all again for everything y'all have done. If you would, if you haven't bought the course, you need to buy it before the 29th. Uh, that way you'll be grandfathered in. If you're not grandfathered in um, by the 29th, you can still buy the courses. They, not the prices are not going up. Uh, it's just you won't, you won't get all the stuff that, uh, that comes afterwards. You, they'll be separate. And the reason why we're doing this because because of you all sowing the seed in me and into Appliance Boot Camp, you all uh, actually built this training facility. You all built this channel. You all uh, are, are building all these entrepreneurs and stuff like that. And uh, uh, y'all have to be rewarded for uh, taking the taking the chance of actually sowing into uh, this business at an early on the ground stage. So everything that we add going forward, y'all get that. Um, but uh, like I said, uh, after that. Uh, the people who come in, they're going to be separate stuff, and we're going to have stuff that uh, uh, that's going to be really good. It's going to be really, really good. Once again, thank everybody for tuning in. 
if you would uh, hit the like and subscribe and let people know about what we got going on here. And we would really appreciate it. Once again, thank you, everybody. All right. Okay. Let me uh, get us out of here.